Hey guys, look where we are. That's right, we are back at the Depot Grill. It's been officially one year to the day that we've been here uh, to try their train wreck challenge. So today we've gone inside, we've talked to the owners, and uh, we are gonna be doing a double up challenge. So not only are we gonna be doing one train wreck challenge, we're gonna do two. So in each challenge, we've got four eggs, we've got, I think it's about a pound of sausage, and we have six large pancakes. So in total, eight eggs, two pounds of sausage, and 12 large pancakes. I can't wait to get started. Have some dinner here because it is definitely not breakfast. I've eaten this morning and uh, I can't wait to get started. So let's head on side and uh, grab some food. All right guys, so there we've got the double train wreck challenge. Super excited about this, lots of food. They've never had anyone beat two uh, before, or even try to, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, it looks really good, you guys saw it being made there, uh, and I remember it from last year, so that's why I'm coming back, and I uh, can't wait to get started. So with that guys, I hope you guys are hungry. I'm pumped, let's eat. All right guys, here we go, on the count of three, Two, one, begin. Start it. Let's do it, Scotty boy. You're giving Scott some syrup bowl action right here. And is that good luck? It smells good. Nicely cooked. 30 seconds in. And the record is nine minutes and three seconds. Scott doing good timing. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. We are back once again in Twin Falls, Idaho at the Depot Grill to take on their train wreck challenge. Now it was exactly a year ago to the day that we first completed it. However, we're back today to try and double it up. Super hot. Doing real good. Scott is now officially two minutes in. Seven minutes for a record. He's crushing it. <laughs> Put water and syrup on under that hot plate. All right, guys, before we get too far into the challenge, I want to know what your predictions are. Give me a hashtag yes or a hashtag no if you think I will or will not defeat the record. And if you do think I'll defeat the record, what are your time predictions? Keep in mind that my time last year was 9 minutes and 46 seconds, and the record stands around 9 minutes and 3 seconds. I know all that syrup, it almost makes me want to get into it. I love, I love me some syrup. That's what I was missing last time was the syrup. Thank you guys for the, uh, you know, the little tips here. Can't have pancakes without syrup. Let me know and let Scott know down below. You can't eat pancakes without down below. Maybe butter, syrup, maybe eggs, 
jam, peanut butter. <laughs> that being said, syrup is definitely something that I could not live without on today's challenge. But a little bit of background about last year's video, if you haven't seen it already, I was using really poor technique, trying to use just water to wash down the pancakes and not much syrup. But I had some tips from viewers saying use more syrup. So I came back to try and crush the record today. So one more little scoop there. Is that considered done? All right, and there we go, guys. I think 621, the new record, or 620, something right around there. Absolutely destroyed it. Good job there, Scott. Thank you, thank you. Let me take that plate. Uh, sure, yeah, you can take the plate there. And now Scott only has about 53 minutes to uh, complete the other one, so. Let's get her going there, buddy boy. All right, buddy boy. <laughs> All right. Maybe enjoy it more leisurely after that one. Yeah, just under seven minutes in to lots of breakfast and chill. We'll put it that way. Doing a good job. I'll get you some more napkins, too. I'll get some more napkins, please. Want some ketchup or anything? Or maybe some. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Great service here. Great service. Sausage is cooked just beautifully. It's got a nice uh, golden crisp on the outside and nice and soft uh, in the inside. Well, I guess I should give you the details of the challenge. We've got four eggs, a pound of sausage, and six pancakes with 30 minutes to complete it. Let me just say that the uh, staff and the owners here are really supportive. They remembered me from last year, so uh, they said, hey, aren't you that Canadian guy? It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm from Canada. <laughs> And of course, because we are doubling it up, we get double the time, so we have a full one hour to complete both challenges. All right, just over nine minutes in. Crushing it, Scott. Finished uh, the sausage here, just about finished. Got the eggs and the pancakes left. Of the second challenge. Mm -hmm. So right now, that's the old record. Congratulations. Well ahead, Scotty. Thank you, thank you. Well, oh, just, way under just there. Use the bottle. And if we defeat them within the time limit, not only will we get our meal for free, but we'll also get a free sweet t-shirt. Joe's looking into uh, figuring out whether he wants to chug the uh, syrup because it smells so good. There's, that is very true. But if we do not complete them in time, we will have to pay the approximately $70 price tag for the two. Pancakes have a nice texture to them. It tastes really good, you know, pancakes. Uh, syrup's just adding to the flavor, so going down pretty easily. And Scott is a pancake fan. Let me know if you like pancakes or waffles down below. I think I'm more team waffle myself, but Pancakes do have their time and place. Just for the record, here is the, it's an empty bottle of syrup. I'm gonna shamelessly taste it. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's a nice syrup. Buttery? That's exactly what I wanted in my life. I know Scott, you got me wanting some breakfast, you know? The Depot Grill got it going on. Joel's gonna do three. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a pancake person, guys. I'm not a pancake person. Like I said, team waffles for me. Yeah, Joel was mentioning there that I'm a pancake person. I do love my pancakes, but I also love waffles. 
If you guys have seen a couple of my videos before, I do an all you can eat. Uh, I love them with strawberry and whipped cream. Uh, I've done a couple of all you can eats at the Jammery in Kelowna. If you guys haven't seen those videos, make sure you check them out as well. I don't know if I should have poured that on. I'm eating the ones a bit slower, so they're kind of crumbling apart. Uh, I, you know, I use a fork and a knife. Thirty-four. It was sixteen thirty-four. The team just uh, was absent, but I got it. You're back. You know where is? And everybody, let's just appreciate that barely anybody beats one of these. And here you have a man trying two of them. Show Scott some love down below. Yeah, I always appreciate the love there from Joel. He's always got lots of great tips. Uh, and he's a great timekeeper as well. Uh, he's probably okay. okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right, guys, you can tell that I'm getting really full at this point. Uh, a little bit of a labored breathing. That's what happens, though, when you try the two challenges and you really try and eat the first one really quickly. But uh, we're going to try and get through this the best we can. We're going to try some Diet Coke, see if that helps out. Feeling some jams or anything? Yeah. <laughs> Doing real good, brother. <laughs> well, I don't know if the pop is helping me out there, so I'm gonna go back to the old tried and tested cup of water. Admittedly, this is taking me a little longer than I want, but as long as I get her done. <laughs> Only 20 and a half minutes, doing incredibly well. Lots of time left. All right, we are just about wrapping it up here. So I wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this special video. Probably the only challenge that I've ever gone back to based on viewer suggestion. So thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you didn't, well, hey, smash it anyways. Twenty three oh five in. Whew. I'm full. I don't know if we're gonna have Easter dinner tonight.
Well, I can honestly say I did not have any Easter dinner after this. Sorry about the mess, guys. I usually don't try to eat like this, but I was going for some records. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyways, and maybe I'll come back next year and try something even crazier. <laughs> There we go. Woo! 24 56. Just under sure. 25 minutes. Good job, brother. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Woo. All right, so 24 56. That is the new two train wreck record. And the first the record. Two train record. Yeah. <laughs> new and only. Uh, and yeah, no, it was a really good uh, breakfast. Very hearty. Very filling. Um, I, I would like to say, I, I don't know which one I enjoyed better, the first one or the second one. The second one I had a lot more time to enjoy it, uh, but it was already full. But uh, that being said, I think I probably enjoyed them equally. They're very delicious. Uh, big shout out to the staff and the owners here. Uh, we came in and they treated us really well, took care of us here, and uh, made us a nice Easter uh, dinner, I guess, kind of lunch dinner here. but. Uh, with that, um, yeah, we get the meal for free, and I believe there's a t-shirt as well. I'm not sure. I had one last year, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another one or not, but either way, really cool challenge and or challenges, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope I left you hungry for more, and if we did, we'll see you on the next one. Hold on. Question, though. Oh. Do you feel like a train wreck? I feel a little bit like a train wreck right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's gonna be a, a nap here in the afternoon. I don't think anybody blames you. Yeah. Good job. All right, Scott. guys.